Hi everyone, so I'm going to do a little room tour of baby girl's room because I know you're all kind of waiting to see it. Um, it's not 100% finished, I haven't got any wall art or anything up but I thought I would share how it looks at the moment and then I might just do like a new additions um, video when I've added like a few more things because it's mainly done. It's the room right at the top of the stairs so this is what you see when you sort of look up the stairs. Um, so I haven't got anything on her door yet but I do want to get something with her name on maybe. Um, but we've just got like the plain white doors. Um, so I don't really know how to do it. I'll sort of start here. So that's her beanbag from Beanbag Planet. Um, it, this will probably be downstairs to be honest. It's just here for now because otherwise Sienna likes to play with it. So it's just a little beanbag she can nap on and stuff. I got this instead of a bouncer. Um, so yeah, that's that. And then we have her cot. I'll try and stand back a bit so you can see. It's not a very big room at all, but you know, it does the job. Um, so her cot is the East Coast Venice cot, I think it is. I will link it down below. And I also got the cot top changer as well. The cot is from Kidly, which is a new kind of like um, baby brand, baby product website opening soon. I will leave it down below. We And then the cot top changer is from Wayfair. Again, I'll link that down below. Um, so yeah, we just got the white cot and the white cot top changer. Um, that's just easier because it's not a very big room than having like a changing station. We got the cot bumpers from Mamas and Papas that you would have seen in a haul before. And then the cot came with the mattress. This blanket's from Matalam. The cushion here is from We Are Scamp. It's really, really cute. It's a little owl cushion. It's like a mini kids cushion. And it's the gorgeous dusky pink that I love. Um, and then it's like a brighter pink circle and green circle on the back. Um, they have so many cute items. Again, I will link them down below. This little octopus we actually got from the aquarium the other day because I had mum guilt and Sienna got something and I couldn't not get the baby anything so I got her that. I think it's really really cute. This is her mobile. Um, it's actually, I think it's called the Princess Pollyanna and it's from Asda. It was only £10 um, and I just really liked the purple and the sort of pattern of it. So... Yeah, plays music and everything. So I think that's really cute. Then she's got her Whisper. Um, I've done a review on this. Again, I'll link it down below. But it basically, it's the toy that kind of plays white noise. So it really helps to settle babies. Um, so I'm really looking forward to using that because Sienna loved white noise. On the cut shop on the cot top changer I always struggle saying that we've got her changing mat again this is from mamas and papas it's the luxury one with the little towel and the little pillow um, I just couldn't resist I thought it was so cute and I love the print matches the um, bumpers so that is sort of like the cot setup area here this is was Sienna's when she was younger um, it's like the rocking snail so I've just got that in here at the moment kind of wedged down there because I'm sure she will use it this is her wardrobe here I actually upcycled this myself I painted it with chalk paint so it was white because it was just pine and then I got some doorknobs from eBay um, so I've got like a spotty one and a spiral one and then down here I've got a spiral one there and then these are just plain um, so there's a like a peachy cream, a pink and a peachy cream there um, so yeah that's like her wardrobe I didn't paint the inside though but she's got all of her clothes in there already most of them are from Sienna and then some new bits as well and then she's got like all, well, newborn, most of her newborn stuff is in the hospital bag because I took loads. So she's got like newborn zero to three months and then three to six months and six to nine months. And then all of the bigger stuff is kind of down here 
waiting to go in. But that is her, like, vests and baby grows. They're all in the drawers. On top of the wardrobe, I've got a little nappy station here with nappies, water wipes, muslin cloths and nappy sacks in. So that's quite handy to grab if you're changing her bum here. You can sort of grab it from there, I thought, so that was quite good. And then she's just got a little um, jelly cat rabbit that Sienna had when she was younger and she wanted to give it to the baby and also her mini mouse that she had when she was younger she wanted to give that to the baby as well so they're just up there so that's kind of that whole wall there it's not very big as I said but there's like her cot and then her wardrobe and then we'll move around to the window area here so she's got these curtains, they're like this really gorgeous dark dusky pink which I love and they've got the silver metallic moon and stars on. Uh, Warren's mum actually got these for us and I love them, really love the pink actually and I think it adds just enough pink because a lot of the other stuff in the room is white. Um, so yeah, they are the curtains. And then in the window, I've just got random bits at the moment. This is empty, it's just a suitcase. I've got a b bedtime bunny book, um, bunny nightlight. This is from Sienna's room. Sienna wanted to give that to the baby as well, so that's in her window. And then a baby record book that we haven't done yet. And then she, we've got her grow egg there ready to plug in for when she is using the room. It's like a thermometer. Um, so that's sort of like what's in the window. Down here, just below the window, I've just got a little white box and it's just full of blankets. So I've got cellular blankets for her cot and then like blankets that she can play on or we can use in the car seat or whatever. So that's just spare blankets there. Then in this corner next to the window, we have this like shelving unit. Sienna had this in her nursery and then it was just in the spare room at our old house. But it fits here perfectly and it just gives me a little bit of space to put nicky nicky things on and there's a few books at the bottom. I haven't filled this out yet because I haven't really got enough stuff yet. I've got my um, gorgeous rainbow picture that my friend did for me because obviously she's our rainbow baby after Rocco. So I love that, that's like pride of place at the top. And then I've just got random bits at the moment. So I've got Sophie the giraffe already ready for teething. Um, the letters to my baby thing. Um, we've got some milestone cards, some candles just randomly. Um, and then not much else. And then books at the bottom. I'm sure she'll get lots of like ornaments and stuff when she's born and keepsakes and stuff. So these can all go on these shelves. And then obviously as she gets older she'll get toys and stuff. So we can put boxes of toys and stuff on there. So it looks a bit bare at the moment. But you know we don't really have that much stuff for her at the moment. And then this is the wall that isn't finished. It's basically just there there's nothing on it I want to get some shelves um, two shelves so again I can display stuff um, and then we've got this kind of floor area I've got this play mat it's a play mat like a sensory play mat um, from Lucy and Belle again I'll link it down below it's so gorgeous it's so soft and it has like um, all different textures because babies love textures it's got like crinkly bits um, but I've put it down in the middle at the moment as a rug because um, I can't find a rug that I like. So I'm using this at the moment until I find one I like or I might just keep that. I'm not sure. Um, and then obviously again as she gets older and gets more toys I can put some kind of storage here or storage bags or boxes or something. Um, so yeah that wall is not really done but when the door is open there isn't a whole lot of space it's not a very big wall so I don't know it doesn't look like empty but um, there you can see that better there there's just sort of like nothing there but never mind we will get there I'm sure when she's like a year old if she's anything like Sienna she'll have so much stuff her room will be overflowing so um, 
yeah that's it at the moment like I said I haven't got anything on the walls yet um, I have ordered a few bits so um, I will either Instagram them or do an updated video or something but that's basically an overview of her room so I hope you enjoyed this sorry it has taken so long and sorry it still isn't finished but that's just the way it goes so let me know what you think of her room and I will see you in my next video. Bye!